So um, what can you tell us about Maiden Dagenham and your character Sandra in the film? Um, Maiden Dagenham is um, a film about a bunch of women in the, uh, in the 60s who work for Ford Dagenham Motors um, that, are, that are labelled as unskilled workers and decide to go on strike and uh, decide to pick it. And they, uh, you follow their journey throughout and as they get more deeper into the, into what they've got themselves into, into the like, political debate basically about women on strike and equal pay. And um, they fall heavier and heavier into, well, I don't know, uh, dark waters, should it be said. And they end up going to the House of Parliament protesting and uh, end up talking to Barbara Castle. So it's um, quite an emotional journey you watch them all go through. Um, Sandra, I play a young factory girl who um, is, you know, aspires to be a model, um, but ends up getting quite heavily involved in the strike and is kind of torn between the two of following the bright lights of London and becoming a model and, uh, you know, doing what her heart believes is, you know, sticking with her friends and, um, you know, you know, protesting in something that she believes in. So, yeah. Um, was the story of the striking workers something you knew about before you did the film? No, it wasn't really. Um, I knew about Dagna Motors and um, the whole factory. Um, I didn't know that these women went on strike and it w I didn't realise that it was the first women's strike. I didn't realise that they changed the Equal Pay Act either, so I was pretty blown away when I first read the script and discovered that. I was kind of like, is this, is this a true story? Is this real? So, yeah. Did you go back and read things about it afterwards, after getting the role in? Um, yeah, I did, you know, because you, you kind of want to know, if the, you know, did this really happen? Are these women for real? And I was kind of um, blown away. But also, you know, when it comes to uh, doing research and stuff like that, I just kind of kept it arm's length because, you know, these women, although they did something pretty amazing and pretty important, they were kind of blissfully unaware of what they were doing. Mm. You know, they kind of just followed their heart and followed their instinct and, you know, ended up getting an equal pay act out of it, so. The producers have said that it's uh, more of a populist film than a, than a political one. I mean, is that something that you'd agree with, or...? Um, I think a bit of both. I think you've got to combine the two to kind of make it appealing, you know. Um, you know, although this is, you know, an important part of our history and, and quite educational in that sense, um, it is still a movie and it is still entertaining. Um, I don't know, I think that's a pretty fair comment. I think it's kind of like a bit of both, really. Do you think the politics of the film will sort of strike a chord with people, especially now with there being talk of cuts and potential strikes? Do you think people going to the cinema watching it will think that this is something that's really relevant now as well? Um, yeah, because of the relevance. I guess it will empower people. Um, I don't know, I think there is a, a lot of people that are more willing to protest now anyway, um, in that sense. Uh, you know, I've, my best friend's an activist and works for a charity and um, you know, I, I really was kind of, you know, curious to know what she thought of it, and she was completely empowered and really inspired. And, um, you know, hopefully it is inspiring, but, um, you know, it's a, it's quite an important cause, you know, equality of pay. Um, we're still a little bit behind on, in that sense. Um, so, yeah, hopefully it would inspire people. Um, would you call yourself a feminist? And do you think that the sort of characters in the film are feminists? Is that a word that you'd use? Um, yeah, I guess I am a feminist. Um, you know, I think uh, my version of a feminist is someone who, um, you know, speaks up and has is you know quite um, open-minded and uh, you know um, is you know treats people equal. I think, and you know, I think that's my version of feminist. I think. My mum and dad brought me up to be like kind of a, a strong-minded woman. So, um, yeah, I think I am.